So the, I, I come into that with Floyd Mayweather fans too. Yeah. Which is, but but I'll say something like uh, Pacquiao is the greatest fighter of the era. Uh-huh. I think it's debatable, but I think it's Pacquiao because Pacquiao started as a flyweight. And moved up more divisions and all this kind of stuff. And Floyd's a naturally bigger guy than Pacquiao. So, sure, they go head-to-head. I'd always pick Floyd. But if Floyd moved up a certain number of divisions, he'd also find, find yeah. a guy who he couldn't beat. Um, and so and so everyone gets on me for that. I'm like, hold on, time out. Floyd says, when I say TBE, the best ever, I'm not talking about in the ring. Someone else can have that. I mean playing the whole fight game. There I might agree with him. Who yeah. played it better than him? 20-year career, didn't take a lot of shots, made a ton of money, the whole thing. But you can't have it both ways. Like, if you respect the business acumen of Floyd, that means you're also acknowledging that he fought certain guys at the right time when, they were, when, they, were worth, yeah. when they were worth the right money to him. I just mean just in the ring stuff. When they were worth the right money to him. Well, but when you say that, you're also acknowledging there was someone else who was maybe a little more dangerous and wasn't worth the risk or wasn't worth the money. Okay, so if you take that tack, you, you're, you can't be the, it's very hard to be the greatest businessman in the history of the sport and the greatest fighter. It's hard to do both. But people who put the cape on, say they don't want to hear any of that. They just want to know, that this is my guy. I think the same thing with Serena fans, with people who get on you for whomever. They're just caping for him. 